Very good afternoon. Welcome to another crazy photographic adventure. And uh, greetings today from Alabama, of all places. I'm actually on a creek uh, in quite of a, a wild part of Alabama. It's very pretty, very beautiful, but um, not much around. And in actual fact, what I intend to do today, or tomorrow morning, is to go visit um, a plant, a flower, which I first started planning about maybe two years ago when I first saw a picture of what I know as the um, the shoal spider lily. Now here in Alabama it's also called the Cahaba lily, which um, is it's named after the river Cahaba, uh, which it's quite often found on, and it grows in the shoals in the river. Um, sort of like the I think it embeds in some of the rocks and then grows and at this time of year which is between Mother's Day and Father's Day uh, in mid-May to early June then the flower blooms and it's an absolutely amazing sight as I say when I saw it two years ago I just knew that I had to uh, come and, and and find it so this is sort of been planned for a couple of years and I've just been waiting for exactly the right opportunity and the right time to do it now I'm not on the Cahaba today, I'm on a, on a different creek and uh, what I'm doing this afternoon is basically drifting down here. I've got another maybe an hour to go before I find my campsite and uh, in order to, I'm doing that in order to be able to get up very early in the morning, drift down another little bit and get to the shoals where, they, where the lilies are in time for sunrise because this is a nocturnal plant and basically it uh, only Supposed to come out or at its best in the late afternoon uh, overnight and then again first thing in the morning and with the bright skies and everything I figured well the best time to actually catch it when the, the wind will be hopefully um, quite calm then I'm gonna try and get it first thing in the morning so that's the plan anyway uh, drift down here find my campsite uh, get a good night's sleep and hopefully get up probably around three four o'clock in the morning in order to be able to get there in time so uh, anyway let's see what we can find I'm guessing that's the old bridge they told me about. So the campsite should only be another quarter of a mile down the stream from here. I'm getting close, it's good. Almost time for dinner. Well, I managed to find my campsite, which actually was a little trickier than I thought. I nearly went flying past it, but just out of the corner of my eye, I saw this uh, blue sign, which actually is for the waterways here, which is quite good. And uh, that was the indicator I needed. So a uh, beautiful little site, uh, a wild camping site, of course, but uh, there's a fire ring there and a nice flat area, soft ground. So pretty good altogether. Um, lovely little location as you can see. So 
I've made myself some dinner and I've built a fire which I'm going to put on in just a minute uh, and then I've been getting everything ready so I can be up early early in the morning. Uh, not many clouds in the sky tonight uh, so probably not much of a sunset to worry about but anyway hoping there'll be something special in the morning so that uh, this adventure will be worthwhile. I'm not even sure how far it's, it is down the stream uh, tomorrow morning before I get to the flowers but uh, I'm giving myself a good hour to get there and get set up anyway so it'll be uh, traveling by flashlight probably uh, which will be an adventure in itself anyway we'll we'll see you early in the morning bye for now Well, very good morning. It seems that I've I've made it. Um, I can just see the start of the lilies and the the shoal where the the water starts running a little faster over the rocks, uh, just in the near distance over here. Uh, but I hope I, you've been able to see me coming down the the creek here in the moonlight. Um, it was a very eerie, beautiful, um, sometimes unnerving, but <laughs> uh, a beautiful ride down this morning. Uh, but I've made it in time and I've just dropped a little anchor here for a moment while I uh, wait for the light to just uh, get a little brighter so I can go and investigate and uh, hopefully find something which is the whole reason why I'm here. Take some nice pictures of these lilies. Well you have to see this place to really believe it. These are the Cahaba lilies or the spider shoal lilies or, or shoal spider lilies or whatever they're called but what an amazing place just look at this all around me here lilies from side of the river to this side of the river just absolutely packed gorgeous place now unfortunately light is very fleeting and it's going to come up very fast so I'm going to uh, crack on take a couple of pictures and if I get a chance I'll talk through them but uh, I'm just going to try and make the most of being here, so I'll see you in a minute. So it's just before 7 o'clock Georgia time, so I guess that's uh, 6 o'clock here in Alabama. So the sun theoretically should be up, um, but I'm not seeing it yet. I'm getting this lovely warm glow uh, looking back up the stream here. So I've picked out um, a couple of flowers that look quite nice. And also there's a bit of an S uh, bend in the in the reeds there leading to that lovely uh, reflection of the light in the main pool there. So I've taken a couple of pictures like that but I'm thinking that I might wait until the sun just pops up and maybe uh, try for a sun star with that as well. Um, I'll need to do a couple of things if I do that. I'll need to take one picture with the sun as the sun star and then one with my thumb in the in the picture blocking it out so that might be quite interesting but I want to then turn around quickly and uh, take these picture uh, these uh, flowers just right here with the lovely green background as the warm Sun is just coming up so gonna work have to work pretty fast but uh, that's what it's all about when the when the lights changing 
so um, anyway absolutely glorious place the uh, there's some really strange sounds every now and again it sounds a bit like this woo, woo, woo. and I think what that is is the uh, I think it might be the the moth which is the pollinator or one of the pollinators of these uh, plants and it's one of the reasons why the plants are so big and the uh, the stamen are sticking out so far we've got the uh, these long yellow stamens sticking all the way out and I think that they uh, they pollinate these moths and it's kind of hawk moth um, if I remember rightly it's got the name sphinx in it somewhere but uh, it's a type of hawk moth anyway and then of course there's the other pollinators as well like the bees and everything like that but uh, yeah truly incredible place look at it So the sun is taking its jolly old time to come up. In fact, it might be a little too harsh by the time it uh, eventually pokes up above those trees. I think it's gonna come up somewhere over there, which would be in the shot, which is great. But uh, anyway, while I'm waiting, um, just wanna mention that the shutter speed, I'm, I'm having to go with a minimum of 60th of a second just to freeze the flowers because there's quite a lot of movement, either with a little bit of wind or the water rushing past these reeds and uh, causing the the flower heads to move quite a bit so you can't really have slow motion water in the background you've really just got to freeze the uh, the flower head as it is wow that sun was way too bright by the time it came up over those uh, over those trees so I wasted a little bit of time just uh, waiting for the sun to come and uh, I was hoping for some nice warm light but uh, I did take a couple of pictures which is great and unfortunately with the time only at about 20 past 8 and uh, so 20 past 7 local time unfortunately I think photography is pretty much over because it's just too too bright now the uh, reflections off the flowers and off the water and everything is uh, too much so I might take a couple of uh, little bits of video and then it's time to head off back down to the car which hopefully should be a couple of miles down the stream, down the creek and hopefully it's still there too. It probably comes as no surprise that if your microphone takes a swim in the river that the audio quality is not going to be so good. And indeed, when I got home, that's what I found with the final piece to camera there. However, all I was really wanting to say was what an absolutely glorious place it was. And it fulfilled all my expectations. The adventure down the river was fantastic. The little campsite was great. And really, I had a, a wonderful couple of days on the creek there. Uh, Photography-wise... Well, I didn't get the sunset, sunrise that I was hoping for. There were no clouds in the sky uh, to reflect the morning light. And also when the sun came up above the trees there, it was too bright to really be of any use. So an, a nice warm morning glow wasn't there either. However, I think I did get, get some nice pictures and I'm going to leave you with them now. So I'm going to sign off and say thank you so much for watching me uh, on this little adventure again and for joining me. Uh, I do hope you like the pictures and we'll see you very soon again, I hope. Bye for now.